Hey, this is Ruby, and I'm here with Mackenzie. Thank you so much for coming in. And you're here in Toronto for Lyric Block Party 2024. So tell me about that. I'm just super excited to sing. I mean, it happens tomorrow, the 12th, um, 3 to 9, I believe. I believe, but check my Instagram and all of that just to verify because I just got off a flight. So Yeah, there are um, websites and posters. People <laughs> exactly. can figure it out. Google it. Exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, lyric, uh, I'm just really excited to sing. I, and there's going to be Donnell Jones is going to be there. Tweet's going to be there. Latoya Luckett and more and I'm, I'm just pumped because I feel like even though it hasn't been that long since I performed on stage I was just on a stage you know now I get to sing little like I don't know fun stuff fun fun songs my songs and covers and with people that I've always wanted to sing with so yeah I'm just excited to get out there any cover in particular you're looking forward Ooh, to um all of them but I would say my favorite cover to perform out of the ones that I'm performing tomorrow Week is always a crowd favorite. You yeah. know, everybody sings along. Everybody always nails that key change. So if I don't feel like doing it, I don't got to do it. I always <laughs> do it. But like, if you know, if ever there comes a time where I don't, I could just be like, and they got it. So week is week at week by SWVs probably. And it, it described it as group karaoke, which I was like, I feel like every karaoke yeah. I've ever been to is technically group karaoke because everyone sings along. But when you can sing as well as you, mm. I Thank can't you. imagine how difficult it must be to choose a karaoke song if you were to do karaoke. So have, do you have like, yeah. okay, all right. What's <laughs> it, got, what's it gonna be? What's, what is it? I have my go-tos. Um, my used to, my go-to was Nobody's Supposed to Be Here, Deborah Cox. Great song. Um, but lately and i say lately no no that i haven't done karaoke in a hot minute but the last time i did it the choices were most usually like smoke a cigarette by tweet or um you know love like this by faith evans or something like that something like fun you know but nobody's supposed to be here was my jam back in the day for karaoke love that um now let's rewind a little bit you competed on the voice yes um what surprised you the most about being on the voice mm, what surprised me the most about being on the voice i don't know that anything really surprised me because it was all new it was all like my first little peek into the music industry and the television industry and all that so um, I don't know that anything surprised me because it was all unfamiliar. Um, but the the coolest thing I can definitely say was learning, getting that first real peek at at, at the uh, the work hours of yes. a person that does what I do, and it just being everywhere. It was a it was a good um, I don't know just a little like brief for what to expect. Don't ever sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're doing stuff, you know, middle of the night, whenever. Oh, we would be recording our um, uh, music for the live show performances and stuff, you know, for when they release them after the shows. We would be starting. I'd start my session at three in the morning. Oh, wow. After having just had a full day of, you know, coaching and fittings and whatever else, filming, all of it. And then we would we would start and the sessions would really only take like 15, 20 minutes, but You'd just be sitting there waiting for about two hours while everybody went in for their 15 minutes. And then you came out and that was it. So, yeah, it would be that. But then the next day you might go in and you might be done recording by 8 p.m. or 6 p.m. or even 4. You know, it just depends on where you hit in the schedule. And right. Yeah. So that was a, I'm a little long winded. My apologies. No, I like it. Keep okay. it going. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did read one comment that you had made about it. And I was like, this is the realist. And you were talking about how um, overwhelming it was the hair and makeup oh, part yeah. of it. Oh, yeah. But that's hair and makeup's always a little overwhelming for me because I do hair and makeup. Okay. And I'm very much a perfectionist. So it's hard for me to like let go of control. I've had a lot of not good experiences. Like I had my eyebrows done this one time when I was young. No, they, they've <laughs> never grown back the same. Like they no. haven't been the same since. So I don't I have trust issues with, <laughs> with hair and makeup. I get that. But, but we're working like... through it. We're working through it. I finally kind of got my team together. So everybody has yeah. to go through that eyebrow journey, though. Oh, yeah. I, I, feel. I, I have bangs for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. No. Me too. We have that in yeah. common. Yeah. Um, now, the top comment on your cover of How Deep Is Your Love says, this is my favorite voice cover ever, 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 mm. period. Mm. So that's that's got to feel good to hear. Yeah, um, sure. And you said that you, you, know, you, you told us what cover you're looking forward to tomorrow out of the ones that you're going to be performing. But um, what is your favorite cover ever, period, 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 mm. ever, ever, ever of all time? Like my favorite song, basically. Mm -hmm. Rocket Love by Stevie Wonder. That whole Hotter Than July album. Mm, Stevie Wonder is like my fave, so but Rocket Love is like my all time song ever. Karaoke in the car, yeah. Shower, yeah. Outside, sure. 
I, I don't know wherever I could sing that song wherever it's like the only song that I listen to and every time I hear it it makes me cry oh yeah not like for a bad reason though just because it's like it's beautiful you know it's just music no that's a good thing yeah. for sure um, and you clearly have great taste in music yeah, so you. if you were to put together a music festival who's gonna be on it oh I've literally been talking about this with my best friend um, just hypotheticals um, I, I was would, listening yeah <laughs> I would say, oh, it's so, it would be a multi-day festival, so it'd be so extensive. But if I could give you like three of the people that would be there in a, in, in the lineup, mm, dream scenario, mm, Stevie would be there one of those days for sure. Um, and then, oh man, it's so tough because there are so many, so I, I'm a big Griselda fan. I know it doesn't make sense necessarily. But we could do Griselda one day and like some East Coast hip hop. And then we could do like Stevie and some R&B and soul. And then we could switch it up the next day and do like all like percussive stuff and have Questlove or something be like the headliner. Yeah. Randomly enough, you know. OK. Yeah, I'm, yeah. yeah. That would work. That's I cool. like this. I feel like we we need to we need to make this happen. Whoever, if you have the power to make ooh, this happen, ooh. please reach out. Yeah, we could have Vinny and Dave Weckl and all of them. The whole drummer's day. Oh, that'd be dope. Yeah, okay, bet. All right, so it's happening. Um, and you have, you know, a zillion followers on every platform. So if you could sit down with your followers, say one-on-one, -on -one, what would you say to them? Oof. Just be yourself and own it and know that not everybody's going to like it, but... You know, the end of the day, it's your life. So own it. Just own it. Just be yourself unapologetically because it's so tiring not, you know. Yeah. I would say that applies to everybody, like just everybody, especially in this industry, but like in life in general. Just be yourself. Yeah. And uh, what else is coming up for you? Is there anything else you want to you want to promote? Anything you want to talk about? I mean, so much. I've got some original music out that I would love for people to go and take a listen to and let me know how they feel. I've got more music in the works. Oh, man, there's just there's so much happening that like I don't even really know where I would begin talking about. <laughs> like, all OK, the so just but good things, good things. And just keep eyes open. Yes, yeah. follow you, keep an eye yeah. out, keep your ears open. Yeah. That if you, sort of if you follow me on my socials, you'll definitely, definitely like be in the loop. Well, I hope you have so much fun tomorrow. I hope you have a thank great you. time while you're in Toronto. And uh, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me.